Hello everybody, I am Sammy with 15 the Dragon Sammy here today, and welcome to Pokemon TCG Online Mad Dragon Wednesday, where each and every single week we take a look at an interesting deck involving the dragon typing, play a few games with it, and see how good it is. Sometimes these decks can be actually somewhat viable in competitive formats. Other times, they're more or less just fun decks. And there are times where the decks are just so gosh darn awful that you'd just be mad to play them in an actual competitive scene or format. Hence the name Mad Dragon Wednesday. So today we're looking at a deck, well I think a lot of people might not have covered, but this is a deck I actually been meaning to cover, I've just been kind of, you know, I've just been kind of on hiatus for so long I've been really been able to do it, and just for you guys to let you guys, let you guys know, blah, blah, blah. sorry about that, but just to let you guys know, no, I am not back just yet. Um, I'm mostly back at this point, but not fully back. I need to work on a few things, mostly just with imaging and stuff like that. And I just want to practice a little bit more and yada, 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 all that fun stuff. So anyway, we're taking a look at a deck that, like I said, a lot of people have come before. And that is Mega Latios Crobat decks. You know, and there's several different ways you can go about with a Girl Latios. Uh, I think, yeah, Latios, uh, some good ways you can go around, go around with, uh, uh, like Altaria for one, but I'm not really going to focus on Altaria right now. I'm going to focus on Crobat because I've been having a lot of fun with bats this way. I don't know why, I just like bat these weird bats. Maybe it's because they're evolution cards and I love evolution cards. You know, like, if I, if I can, I will, I will always try to play evolution cards in my deck if I can somehow squeeze them in. You know, it, it feels weird for me not playing evolution cards. Or just not playing any dragon Pokemon in general, hence my name, the Dragon Tamer. Anyway, so the idea of this thing, of this deck, is to uh, basically use Megalodius, hit for 120. And we have to discard two energy, but it does have free retreat, it has 220 HP, which is pretty decent. But, like, um,. Yeah, discarding two energy kind of sucks, and that's a weird energy cost. Sure, 120 is not all that all that overwhelming, but with a few things in this deck, it can be actually somewhat decent. First of all, there's double dragon energy. For those of you guys who are not aware, double dragon energy basically is a double rainbow energy for dragons and dragons only. That's the easiest way to explain it. And um, there's also these bats, which um, with sneaky bite, which does 20 when you evolve it, and Surprised by which does 30 when you evolve it, so it may not seem much at first, but when you put them all together and just start stacking them one by one, it, it can be pretty darn nasty. And besides, 120 is actually pretty good. That's you know, it's pretty good at attack damage because you can pretty much one shot, not one shot, but like two shot, like pretty much everything in the format. You know, with the exception of stupid Waylord, or the or, or if they don't have like a muscle, not a muscle band, but a Hard charm on there or something along those lines. So yeah, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty fast too. I like, at least I like to think so. Um, so yeah, we also play uh, Mega Turbo, which is another cool thing that uh, Mega has got in general. Attach basic energy card from discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. So basically, it's a dark patch for it, for Megas of any type, and you can don't even have to be on the bench. So it's pretty decent. <laughs> I like to think so. So we do play some basic energy for that very reason. I do play a three psychic and two uh, water. You know, I play the th the uh, three psychic over. You know, I play one more psychic over water because we do have fast raid. Does forty. So yeah, uh, you know, we're also going to attack any first turn, so which is pretty decent, pretty nice. We also play uh, luster purge. You have to discard all energy, but does one hundred fifty damage. And that actually is pretty decent when you uh, add all these bats together. So, and since it's only three energy, we can easily get it back with this deck. Double Dragon, Mega Turbo, and here we go! Which makes me want to play another Mega Turbo, honestly. If I really haven't tested with this deck too much, so I may want to play another one. Also thinking we'll be playing two Shaman as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's why we play the, those two. I play two more this one than this one, though other people probably going to play might want to play uh, two of these over the other one. So we do play the 4-4-3 line, typical bat line. Uh, we play super Scoop Up Cyclone, very typical as well. Super Scoop Up, three of them, you know, 
terms of the bats and stuff like that, it's very typical. We play AZ. It's a very typical uh, support line for right now. Um, three three VS Seeker, four Colors, two Lysander, four and no, not four Colors, two Colors, two Lysander, four and four Juniper. I mean Sycamore, and you know three three tools do. But we also play Shrine of Memories and Silent Lab. Now. Silent Lab can be a little annoying if you decide to put that in that Silent Lab and then you realize, oh crud, I forgot I want to use Shaman, darn. Or oh crud, I didn't want to use uh, Zubat's ability through flight, darn it. But, oh well, that's the price. Um, I'm considering maybe taking these two out and adding another Shrine of Memories or something like that. We do play the Shrine of Memories, so if we have our Omega, we don't exactly want to really do 120 damage, but we want to do 150 instead, we can do that. So yeah, um, this is very basic, very straightforward deck. Um, I was also thinking of playing Absol in here, which once you once you put it down, it has the ability to curse dies, which allows you to move three energy to uh, one Pokemon. Or you put one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of your opponent's Pokemon, which would actually be pretty nice in this deck. But because we are running Saint Lab, I don't want to put too many uh, basic, not any, uh, too many basic Pokemon with abilities on them, you know. Subats and one shaman is enough. You you may want to take out the uh, second lance for another shaman or maybe maybe a hydreion. I don't think you need it, but maybe a, um, another uh, another mega triple might be nice actually. You know, there's many things you could do. I really haven't tested with it that much actually, not really at all honestly. Maybe one or two games, but that's about it. But yeah. I've been jibber jabbing way too much uh, for a straightforward deck like this, so yeah, let's um, get right into it. Hello, we're back and we're facing Professor Evie. Interesting. Maybe she can teach me a little bit about Evies. So yeah. Alright, um, we're going to go first, which is awesome. We get a Bulgan, which is not awesome. And we start with Adios, which is actually kind of okay. I'm actually pretty okay. I, I like that actually. I like that start. So yeah. Alright, we're gonna start and we wish our opponent good luck, because that's my thing. I always like to wish my opponents good luck if I can remember to do so. And we have a lackluster starter, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we're gonna have to get rid of this. And on seems to be we have to get rid of this as well. Actually, we get the donk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, GG. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how you can win. Okay, I'm Savvy Fitz the Dragon Tamer. Please like, subscribe, all that silly stuff, and I'll see you guys. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're going to try to play this again. Oh, uh, that was fun. Let's try to play that again, shall we? Ah. Uh, sorry about that. My dogs are barking because people are coming home, apparently. Apparently. So that's interesting. Yeah, they like to bark. They like to bark a lot. <laughs> I was just like, alright, I was about ready, ready, ready to like, to like do a bunch of stuff like, oh wait, I can fast trade. <laughs> I win. Okay. <laughs> that's a little broken. So I feel bad for people who are starting with Execute or Joltik when I'm playing that this deck. Okay, here we go. We're facing a person called Scotty Bo 303. Let's see if we can go first again. And yes! Okay then, we're in business. And my opponent is playing some kind of uh crud probably Groudon. I'm not one shotting the guy anyway, so maybe I win, maybe I do not. I do not know. I hope we win. That's always nice if you win, you know? So it's always nice. Alright, um so let's do this. Get rid of the energies. Get my fast rating Latios. Because we want to do some damage real quickly to this thing, because I'm pretty sure you might want to focus sash this big mo. I mean, it would make sense, you know. Would make sense. Um okay, we this is all we have. So I'm gonna fast raid. Yeah, seems legit. We can do that. Um, so we fast rate for 40. 
So yeah, that's nice. Uh, God's gonna Karina. Karina for the primal, which he cannot evolve just yet. Maybe we can get a knockout. Maybe. Maybe. Mwahaha. <laughs> okay, that's just I'll stop now. Alright, um If I I think if I were opponent, I would try to get another base of Pokemon. Cause I did forty, which may not seem like much, and it's not really all that much. But if you like oh my opponent just gives me the victory. Let's try playing this again. We have two victories. Alright, try to get another. I'm not used to like playing this much. Like we won two games in four minutes. This is how good this deck is, apparently. When it gets set up. <laughs> fast rate angle MVP. So we find out the fast rate attack is kinda too good. <laughs> I can understand why people are kind of complaining about it. My opponent seems to be playing a mostly shiny deck. This person likes to show up, apparently. Ow, it's just very clean. It's hurting my eyes. <laughs> it's so shiny. It's so shiny. Alright, we have a very decent start. I think I'm going first, or am I going second? No, I'm going second. Okay, that's fine. I do not mind going second. Playing against some kind of evolts all deck, which should be interesting. TCE, random receiver, Professor Juniper, there's a Verbank in there, an Ultra Ball, so shiny, and neither uh, full light dark race, so free, so shiny. Alcred, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Wake up, Zubat, I believe in you. Why, Zubat? Why you failed me? You failed. I'm, I'm, I'm. You failed me, Zubat. Um. All right. Um. Scoop up. Yes. We'll save you, Zubats. I'll save you. I don't even know why I saved you. I mean, actually, I kind of. Eh, do I? All right. Let's give you the colors and the water energy. To get another bats. Mm hmm. <laughs> so we get three bats down. We can end. Actually, I could have colors there, but like, I didn't see any reason for me not to end there. So that's why I did that. And let's fast raid for 40. Alright, look, one's gonna do a ton of damage to me, and then I'm gonna knock him out. Stupid liver bank laser. I'm gonna be cool high when you rotate. Rotate already, actually. Alright. Alright. Cred Headringer. Headringer is there, so good thing I have my trusty tool majiggy thingy on my Latios. Uh, gets another tool. Glad that thing won't be out for too long. Um, yeah. Alrighty then, uh, hits me for 90, 120. I'm awake, but that does not really matter too much to moi. I will Mega Evolve. I'm in pretty good position, I want to say. Um, alrighty, and if I can just get a bad I'd be happy, all fine and space dandy. Even if I were to get the tool here, it would be nice too. But we just get a bat. We don't get any other Pokemon, unfortunately. We just get the bat, which may be all we need. But the problem I hear and a little worried about is my opponent is able to knock me out. That would actually suck if my opponent were to knock me out. That would not be fun. No, it would not be, ladies and gentlemen. It would be, un it would be the definition of unfun. It would be unfun. Yes, it would be very unfun. It's not even a word, but I made it up, so meh. Okay, that's not nice. Okay, that's not good. My opponent's going to end me. Okay, that's also not good. And this is the part where we're going to get rolled. <laughs> I, I'm not even exaggerating too much, actually, me thinks. 120, that wasn't definitely enough to knock me out. Too bad we don't have 250 HP. You know, sad. Alrighty, what are we going to do here? 
I think we are going to add more damage to the bah to the Volta, so we can eventually knock it out. That is the plan, I think. I think that is the plan. Is that the plan? No, yeah, it is the plan. Um, Alter Ball by those two thingies. And let's get the Shaman. And he's not here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that was fun. <laughs> See, this is how we lose. I think the next five turns will be just me losing on an epic grand scale of awesomeness. I think we'll keep that thing up there. For now. I don't know. Um, but you could essentially get a Juniper and get lucky, you know. We can get, like, the Mega Turbo, the Double Dragon Energy, the Evolution, and then all we will be fine in Space Dandy. Because I doubt my opponent will be able to knock me out here. What would even take my opponent to knock me out here anyway? Like, another DCE, I think, me thinks? I think that's what it'll take. Now another Dark Energy, 110, 140... No oh, cred. Um. Um. And um. And um. And um. And um. And um. And we'll be knocked out because of poison, ladies and gentlemen. Stupid poison. Crud, this is going down how really fast. We actually had a decent start. Ah. <laughs> oh. Crud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, this is the part where we lose epically. Alright, take this bat. I don't need it anymore. It evolved as much as it could too. It's at its maximum potential and all that fun stuff. This is this part that's gonna suck. And my opponent puts a DCE on it, cause why the heck not at this point? Ah, this is Okay, we got a junior Sigomar. I wish you got I got you like a few turns ago, but I digress. Holy shoot, how do I even win? <laughs> so you even win here, dude, or just like, I just keep, just, I don't know. <laughs> I think I just lose here, everybody. Um, maybe I can just bat it death. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe that's my only real hope in this game, just to like, hopefully make it die of bats, death, bat poisoning or something, I don't even, is that even a thing? I don't even think that is a thing. Alright, um, so, so, yeah, um, cred, we only have one Latios left, and it's the not fast right one. We're going to have to retreat to this sucker, even though I'm pretty sure my opponent has a Lysander in hand. I would not be surprised if my opponent has a Lysander in hand. Or my opponent just has enough stuff on it where, like, he doesn't, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna, he has the Lysander. I think, I think that's actually a knockout, honestly. Oh, he takes the cheap prize! If he had laser, it was actually a knockout, so... I thought there was a good chance he'd be able to get the game there anyway. Oh, well, so you saw how this deck wins and how this deck loses. It wins by having a really fast start with fast raid. And that's about it, it seems. <laughs> Uh, we didn't even get to see, like, the majority of what this deck is worth, like, other than the fact that we've got, like, two quick wins off Fast Raid, because it's OP. But, like, if your opponent can survive Pat Fast Raid, then you just kind of lose, it seems. Whatever, even though I, like, lost brutally that last game, it was, like, so much fun. It was so much fun. Like, all three games I had so much fun, even if they're, even, like, the first two were so quick. So, if you're, like, even, like, this game was actually fairly quick, it was only seven minutes long, actually. So if you're looking to play a few games of just pure nonsensical fun, then I would actually recommend this deck very much. So you know, if, I don't want to recommend this deck if you're trying to win like a regionals or anything like that. No, I. But then again, I think like if you're capable of winning a regionals in the first place, you're already smart enough to realize I I'm staying away from that deck. It's a fun deck, but that's about it. Uh, I'll probably play this at all league challenge. Maybe I don't even know. It it's fun. Nothing more. Nothing less. I'm Sammy Fifteen. The Dragon Sammy here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, and all that silly stuff. And I hopefully I shall see you guys on next time.